you know, hey, <laughs> Dula, your hair. Sit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ow. Talk to him. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Wrigley Tay, and I'm back at it with another video. Said I'm back at it with another video. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, yeah, let, me be for real. Let, me, let me be for real. Alright, what's up guys? So today we are doing the final review. Um, of what? We're doing the final review of Nadula Hair. So if you didn't check out my first impression initial review, you need to look at that. What you doing, sis? Okay, number one, I'm not in my regular spot. Okay, not in my room. I'm in another spot because my room is some trash. Like, it's real loud, dirty, like... So sorry. Okay, so to start off, just to remind you what lengths I have in my head. This is, this is still Nadula hair, just to be clear. Um, the lengths I have in my head, starting with the longest, is a 24, a 22, a 20, and a 18 inch closure. So I ordered my hair, just to recap, ordered my hair. Did I order my hair? Jesus. I don't remember the exact dates, but I know it came two days later. It was on time, um, so that was a plus. Shipping and customer service is definitely a plus. Um, I'm kind of just going to do a whole, whole overview of the company. So, just on the company, like, shipping, customer service, everything is great. Um, the reviews are real. Like, everything's real from Nadula. So, if you're looking into the company, it's a great company, um, so what more can I say about the actual company? Now going on to the hair that everybody cares about. Um, I have Brazilian body wave. So if you look back on the initial review video, you're going to see the actual wave. Um, and I think I'm actually going to insert. No, I'm not because I don't have. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm tripping, y'all. This video is off the fly and I kind of need to hurry up. So anyway, um. Because I need to get this done because I'm taking my hair out tomorrow. So, I installed my hair September 2nd. Um, it is now November 16th. That's like two months and some change. So, yeah, it's definitely So, I'm actually going to insert out. a clip of the hair when I first got it installed. And, um, like, maybe two or three days after that. So, you can see what it first looked like when I got the it installed. 20 bundle. But yeah, I love this hair. Okay, so that was the hair on the first day I got it done. And then, no, no, it's not. It's the second day. Mm. But it's right after I got it done. So um, the hair was soft. The hair was full. Length was definitely there. Um, closure was amazing. Um, everything was great. So now... I'm about to insert a few maybe pictures or clips um like maybe a couple weeks after that I would say two or three okay so about a month in is actually when I started realizing like noticing changes in the hair so a month in I wanted to have curls but I was like I'm really not trying to put heat on my hair I don't really feel like doing all that so it's like okay I'm just wet it and put some perm rods in it so with the no i i know y'all y'all should have seen my well wigs review and i don't think i went and put perm rods in it but i know i put perm rods in it and it, while it was dry and it curled and that hair was also brazilian body weight so i was like okay this is gonna be a breeze it's gonna be a breeze but um once i wet the hair i noticed that's when i first started noticing shedding um, it takes a very long time to dry when you wet it, so sis, don't wet the hair. This is, and this is speaking for Brazilian body weight because I'm not, this is my first time with, working with Nadula. This is my first time ordering from them and I usually get Brazilian body weight, so that's just what I picked up. So, speaking with for Brazilian body weight of, and of length, like if you, it may be the same, it may not be the same for a shorter length, but... Um, if you're going to wet it, please don't try to go out two hours later because it's not going to be dry unless you set them the dryer and still it's not going to be dry. So 
I don't know what to Just don't wet it and you guys want it to go. Anyway, the hair takes a very long time to dry. Um, and after that, that's when I first, like, when I started noticing constant shedding. So, for the first, I would say, four weeks, there was no shedding. And it wasn't, I wouldn't say no shedding. It probably was. I just wasn't paying attention. But it wasn't noticeable and it wasn't excessive. The shedding um, wasn't really excessive maybe until about a month and three weeks um so that's basically recently because it's it's been two months and a couple which costs so anyway um yeah the hair that's one thing that i would say about this hair it does shed once you put water on it um so now i i don't even know <sighs> Anyway, the hair sheds, and that's mainly what everybody watches a review for, is shedding. So heat, I want to talk about putting heat on it, flat iron it, trying to curl it. Um, I haven't tried to flat iron this, or, well yes, I, ha I have. But it wasn't the whole head, it was like literally like this much. And you don't want to put too much of a high temperature on there, especially... If you have products but that's just a big no-no in general but I would say this hair doesn't really need too much of a high temperature it can take heat I would say straightening you know trying to flat iron it it'll go fine but curling no um, the hair doesn't really curl like that sis this is wavy it's supposed to be wavy hair so the thing that works best for this hair is braiding it up with with maybe water I mean, you still could, you, I mean, the downside would just be shedding, of course, but water, um, one thing I did use that's very great for this hair is Not Your Mother's Leave-In Conditioner. Um, it's, I, I guess it was a new product. I got it in my Influencer Rouse box, but anyway, um, that's what I use, and it worked great with this hair, so I guess any leave-in conditioner or Not Your Mother's will work, will work for this hair. Um, it was great. So, I'm gonna put in some clips of when I did a braid out with the leave-in conditioner in the water and I'll let you see so how that. So now that you've seen, you know, some clips of how the hair, um, you know, kind of showed itself off and you guys know about the water and the shedding, whatever. So I'm going to just do a little overview because I feel like I was all over the place. So before I get into, you know, my final, okay, when you first order the hair, you're going to love it. The first month, first few weeks you're gonna love it especially and I'm talking about the amount I have three full bundles in my head and I have a closure and I have long lengths so you're gonna love it um very soft very easy to manage um very low maintenance even until now like I really don't do anything to it so um just remember when you wet it that's when you may start seeing shedding so Maybe you may not have to um, wash your hair. I know some people like to wash their weave or whatever while they have it in. But honestly, I don't think you have to do this to this hair. It doesn't pick up smells. It doesn't pick up odors, you know. Um, I don't know why people will wash it. You can't really get to your scalp anyway. But anyway, um, it doesn't pick up smells. It doesn't pick up odors. So once you wet it, that's when you would start seeing shedding. Now, I want to talk about the amount of shedding. So, it won't be excessive shedding when you first, you know, start out, when you first start noticing it, but it will pick up. So, this is just from maybe about mm, two days. I, I didn't clean my brush out. So, this is probably either this one or two days. One, I, don't, I can't really tell because once you, it will start shedding. Like, and to me, shedding is not a big problem for me because ha I know hair sheds. But the thing that kind of scares me is length retention, and I'll talk on that later once I show you all the shedding. But this is the shedding. And some people are going to be like, some people are going to, I got to make my thumbnail, hold on some. Alright, then my thumbnail, but anyway, um, yeah, so, that was shedding. That's the amount, the daily amount that you're probably going to get after you start wetting the hair or on whatever. So, 
matting. I know that some people may want to know about that. Um, it does happen if you don't brush your hair. Please brush and comb the hair. You know, it's really nice. So what I wanted to show you all. Wait, no. Let me do it. Let me. Well, no. Yeah, I'll do it now. So, um, I use this brush most of the time. And then I had another brush. And then I use the wide tooth comb. Anything will work. Um, as you can see, ooh. As you can see, the hair is really thick. That's one thing that did not change. Thickness of the hair, thickness of the hair, length of the hair did not change. Um, texture, like how soft it is, it's still soft, but it's like I can't really explain it. Oh, this is, it's only my second review. Please bear with me. I hope I get better. But um, I do want to. So I have a middle part, by the way. If you don't remember. Yeah. Okay. And I'll talk about the closure in a minute. So, I'm going to brush out one side and then I'll show you this side. So, I brushed my hair this morning. And you'll see how it looks after it's brushed. And so, on this side, this is how it looked this morning. And then to now, this is how it looks. This lighting is OC, bro. But, yeah. Alright. So, the hair is, is easy to get through once you if you have a good enough brush. Um, like I, like I was about to touch on matting, it's very easy for this hair to mat just because, just because of the amount that's in your head and how close it is to like, um, your clothes and your skin and all of that. Um, the back, oh Jesus. But anyway, um, this is how. It looks and I'm gonna point the camera down so you can see that the length did not change at all and I will stand up um this hair is starting to um you know starting to get come out it's coming out tomorrow so I've been trying to figure out where so as you can see the length is still there um, that's one thing I am very happy with with the amount of shedding I was just like but the real test is going to be, oh, and you can see the difference between this side, I'm sorry. So you see the difference between this side and this side. So, um, one thing that just, that's one thing that really bothered me. Um, what else do I want to touch on? Oh, the closure. So, the closure was great, okay? Um... I have this on because I haven't been doing my edges because I'm just over it. I'm ready to take it out. But the closure was great. Um, I would suggest a powder concealer or a powder, some type of, some form of powder um, to put on it if it doesn't match your skin. I did, then, I remember I did, I did say I didn't want to color it, but it ended up being colored. And... It really didn't match my skin the way it should have. So, I ended up putting some powder on there. And it's kind of coming out. Like, you can see where it's coming out. But, um, yeah, the closure was great. No balding. Um, yeah. I don't really know what to say about it. From 1 to 10, I would give this hair an 8. This hair was great to me oh and let me stand up and to show you all oh, the way this see it's still right above my butt right here so this hair was great i really liked it and it was let me remind y'all to call 184 dollars for three bun three we got some oprah in me three bundles and a closure 184 dollars I think that's pretty good. Um, the hair did not give me a hard time. So, I, hey. you. I Really, I really wanted the clips to kind of more speak on this video. But, it was quite gross. It was, it was so gross. It was, get you some of that hair. I'm not being paid. I'm not being sponsored. They probably been on making this video. I'm just, I'm just here to help you out, sis.
get you some and do the hair. You already know the rundown. Like, comment, and subscribe. Look at the end page. I love you. I love you.